Prince Mangosu Tsubutselezi served as advisor to three kings in his capacity as the traditional prime minister. King Cyprian Kapeguzulu, the father of late King Goodwill Zwelitini and the current monarch. Butelezi's successor, Tulasizwe Butelezi, is a member of the party he founded, the IFP, and is currently the mayor of Zululand District Municipality. The king named Inkozi Patisizwe Khiliza of the Amadunge clan as the deputy prime minister. Khiliza is the former chairperson of the House of Traditional Leaders. Experts say the combination of the two leaders will make the position strong in bringing back the dignity of the Zulu people. Yeah, I think it's highly strategic. It was good that the king took some time to apply his mind and having a deputy will neutralize this position because the prime minister will not take unilateral decision, but he will have to work together with his deputy who has got a, a vast experience in the traditional leadership. Ngubane says Butelezi's appointment could be met with resistance from some Amakosi and political parties in the province. This comes amidst allegations of corruption leveled against him. It is likely to divide Amakosi because Amakosi are not in a consensus that they will uh, work with him, but he must... Uh, uh, stand up above and beyond politics and uh, execute his duties as expected. Uh, that cannot be disputed. It, it is likely to happen because we know that uh, most of the kings do not belong to one political party. There are so many political parties uh, amongst the Amakosi, Awazulu, and there will be those who will like him as a person, and there will be those who will not like him. Gubane says the new prime minister and deputy should help to preserve the Zulu cultural heritage and ensure social cohesion. I'm Nutlagani Pumakwaza for SAPC News in Durban.